It starts bright and early. Everything is quiet. It's almost impossible to imagine the chaos that is about to take place. The dogs are slowly starting to wake up and get ready. Waiting patiently, they know what's coming. This is the start of the El Dorado Gold Cup Sled Dog Championship. Each team has a race day routine. Some include breakfast, and some include good luck kisses. <laughs> Mushers put cream on the dog's paws to prevent cracks from the cold. And booties too. On a day as frigid as this, even the dogs get cold feet. The intensity is growing. You can see it in this pup's eyes. Teams are getting harnessed and the howls continue to grow louder. This is our 14th annual year for the El Dorado Gold Cup Sled Dog Races. Um, basically what happens is we're a mid-distance race. We're part of the Quad Crown and in that there is 70 uh, races that will be hosting events. Time to get hooked up now to the sled. It's almost time to go. So then we start off the day. We have our exhibitors in the hall and a full canteen. Right now at 12 to 4 we have the River, or Moira River Ramblers playing. And at 4.30 is a hot roast beef dinner followed by the award ceremony. Back outside now, the dogs know what is coming. They're working themselves into a frenzy. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. Five, four, three, two, one, go! And they're off. Racers compete for the best time as they race around the 50 mile course along an old railway bed. Teams come from all over Ontario and some as far away as Quebec and New York to participate. Even though temperatures dipped below minus 22, conditions were perfect for the race. Warm weather and a large snowfall a few days prior and then extreme cold the night before made for a fast and hard packed trail. Even though it was the first race of the season, it was still very competitive. Mushers and their dogs start training as early as September. Without snow, racers use ATVs for the dogs to train with. Approximately 25 miles down the course, there's a checkpoint where mushers must sign in. From there, they make the turnaround and head back the last 25 miles. The winning team receives the Gold Cup trophy and a cash prize. About 50 volunteers came out to help put on one of the most successful El Dorado races in years. 19 teams competed. Good boys, good boys, come on. Where now? Here they come, crossing the finish line. Slowly, teams trickle in one by one. As soon as they get back, first things first, feed the dogs. They've earned it. What's in that mixture there? Oh, chicken and uh, some impact, which is like a... Everything in a powder, vitamins and minerals, fish meals, chicken meals, pork meal, uh, vitamin E and A and B and zinc and eggs, powdered egg. Ugh, it may not sound appetizing to you, but if you'd just run 50 miles, you'd be hungry too. And boy, were they ever. They cleaned out their bowl so fast. So you're probably wondering, well, who won the race? It was Renee Marshallden for the second year in a row. 
Marshallton's winning time was 3 hours, 34 minutes and 31 seconds. That's 6 seconds faster than second place. Awesome, it's always good to win. <laughs> you know, winning's awesome. So how did the weather conditions affect the dogs? So people with fast dogs had a fast run today, so... And how did your run go? Fast. <laughs> good. That's really good. El Dorado is considered an easier course, but for some dogs, it was tough sledding. Yeah. Started with, it was very cold this morning, and I ended up one dog there, he was tired, so I left him at the checkpoint. So I came back with seven dogs. And one of them, another one was tired too, so he didn't pull, so this, the, other, the other six had to pull for the rest of the bunch. But first of all, this morning I made a mistake. We should have had water two and a half hours before, like I usually did. I did it three and a half hours before. And going up to the checkpoint, everybody was thirsty. 35 years at it, I still make mistakes. I've been doing that for 35 years now, so I don't know. I guess I like it. <laughs> and now the race is over. The dogs are calm and heading back into the warmth of their kennels. Hope to see you again next year in El Dorado. Ah! Ah!